campaign 2020 in one of the most high profile and volatile congressional races in Texas. And we're talking about the Republican primary between longtime Congresswoman Kate Granger and challenger Chris Putnam. This is the 12th congressional district. Political reporter Jack Fink in studio to profile things for us. Jack. Well, Doug and Brooke, this has become a very negative and costly race. Both candidates are playing up their conservative credentials. Kay Granger has the president's backing. Chris Putnam's support includes the Tarrant and Wise County's sheriffs. It's Trump against them again. And he's backing Kay Granger. Kay Granger, she's gone Washington. You can't turn on the TV without seeing ads for Congresswoman Kay Granger and her challenger, former Colleyville Mayor Pro Tem Chris Putnam. So that's why folks are incredibly excited because this is the first time that there's been a, le a legitimate alternative for them to vote for. Granger believes voters will stick with her. Because they know me, uh, they've known me in different offices, and my results, and that's important. It was in 2016, Granger said then candidate Donald Trump should remove himself from consideration for the presidency after lewd comments about women recorded 11 years earlier came out. But Granger, now the ranking member on the powerful House Appropriations Committee, points to President Trump's endorsement of her on Twitter in December. Putnam says it hasn't hurt him. I think most people will understand very clearly that was the politics of impeachment. He needed every single House vote. I see that's ridiculous, and if that were true, then he wouldn't have put out the past statements he said in support of me. After starting out as pro-choice, Granger says she became pro-life more than 10 years ago. Three pro-life groups recently endorsed her record, even as Democrats took control of the House. And was able to keep the pro-life language uh, that had been there for years, and I'm very proud of that. She, again, she has a, a senior role in appropriations, and we're still sending $600 million of taxpayer money a year to Planned Parenthood. Federal funds are prohibited from paying for abortions. Planned Parenthood provides health services to more than 2 million people a year. Putnam says his priorities are border security, the Heartbeat Protection Act, and cutting the size of the federal government. Granger says border security, the military, and infrastructure are her priorities. The full interviews of both candidates are on our website, cbsdfw.com politics. Thank you. A university attended by a lot of North Texas.